Here's how to make a sprite point towards your mouse cursor and follow your mouse cursor. And we're doing this in Game Lab on code.org. You'll want to start with an empty project. Uh, just come over to the Create button and click Game Lab. And the first thing we want to do is make the sprite. So we'll grab a var draw sprites, and then we need a draw loop with the draw sprites inside of it. And it starts off looking like a gray box. And then we just need to pick which picture we want to connect it to. I'm going to pick vehicles. Now some of these vehicles, it's hard to tell which way they're pointing. But any of these spaceships down here will be fine. And I'm going to pick this red one. Okay, so there's the name of the animation. The next thing we want to do is, under the Sprites tab, grab a set animation. And then click the little down arrow to choose your picture. Alright, now we got it on the screen. Now I'm looking for a point two. Let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. Inside the draw loop, because we want this to happen over and over, instead of pointing to an X and Y value, like you would normally do, like 0, 0, for example, uh, what we want to do, 0, 0 is up here, what we want to do is instead set it to world mouse X and world mouse Y. That way, when I move my mouse around, it will follow. Now here's it just on the x axis. It's a little weird, but you can see that it's moving. Okay, now I've got both of them, and I can tell I need a background in there. Uh, but it is moving around and following the mouse. So let's put a background in the draw loop. Make sure you do it above draw sprites. And now it's following my mouse. But you'll notice it's following based on the right wing, it's not following with the proper orientation. So let's try flipping. And you'll immediately notice when you flip, you cut off the wings. And that has to do with the width and the height of your image. So let's undo that and resize. You want to make sure both of these little boxes are not checked. And then make the width and the height just bigger than you need. That way you see you have all this empty space around it. And now you can rotate freely without cutting off your wings. So now it's following, uh oh, it's following out of the tail the plane. So I need to keep rotating again. Let's try this rotation. And now it's working. So now that I've got it pointing from the front of the ship, I need to go back and crop and get rid of all that extra white space. Okay, now we're in action. So that is how you make something follow your mouse. The only thing left to do is to make it move towards the mouse. So we're going to need a couple of ifs to do that. This first if, I'm going to say, if the mouse's X position is to the right of the ship, it's greater than the airplane's X position, then I want it to have a positive X velocity. And you can pick any positive number you want to, but two will do. And then if it's not, then that means my mouse is to the left of the ship and I need to give it a negative velocity. Let's go ahead and try that. This is only with the X and Y position. You can see it's still staying on that middle line but it is looking towards my mouse and following my mouse. So that's working good. Now let's just copy that since we want to do the exact same thing for the Y axis. Uh, well, we'll just grab another one. This time we're going to say if world mouse Y is greater than sprite.y, meaning if my mouse is below this time, if my mouse is down here below, then we want a positive velocity so that it will follow my mouse down there. And if it's not, we need a negative velocity. So we'll just use 2 and negative 2 again. So now it's going to follow wherever I go and look at wherever I go. And that's the whole thing.